guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Ice Cream Nails. So when they send polishes, they just send a bunch of them and I don't know what goes to what collection. I do know that I have their um, Mega Chrome collection, which is six multi-chromes, and then I have another random eight that I don't know what set they belong in. So we do have Math 18. Oh, that can't be right. We do have some polishes to look at today. I do have an affiliate code. Um, it'll be on the screen as well as in the description. And then I will link down there as well, the ice cream site, their Instagram page, and then my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So we do have a good bit of swatching to do today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Chrome Colt and this one is a multi-chrome that goes from a teal to a blue to a purple to a pink and then it's got these gold flashes at extreme angles. Here is our first coat of Chrome Colt. Now with these first six they are multi-chromes and I do have this really intense grow out on my nail that's happening so it's gonna look funny but bear with it. This has a excellent formula. I got full opacity in two coats on this one. I did have some brush strokes through this as it was wet and most of those went away as it dried, but not all of them. This does dry decently glossy all on its own. I do think this was the least shifty of the multi-chromes multi that you're going to see today. So there are two coats. Up next we have Hardcore and this one goes from a fuchsia to a purple to a red to a copper and then gold at extreme angles. Here's our first coat of Hardcore. This one is significantly more sheer than the last one that we looked at. So I did do three coats to build this one up to full opacity, but it is very shifty. I know my lighting um, during the application process is not going to capture any shift um, but bear with me on that as well and look at the swatch photos this is going to dry relatively glossy on its own i do recommend going in for a top coat though to protect your manicure and make it last as long as possible nothing in these multi-chromes will dry textured or be difficult to remove so there are three coats Up next we have Metalhead and this one goes from a blue to a purple to a copper to a gold to a green at extreme angles. Here's our first coat of Metalhead. This one is also relatively sheer on this first coat. Um, this one has a larger particle multi-chrome shimmer uh, so I didn't have issues with brush stroking on this one. I feel like when these multi-chromes have the larger particles in them I don't get the brush strokes and this one didn't have any but I did still need three coats to bring this one to full opacity. Again I do recommend using that top coat to finish your manicure off and removal will be easy. Nothing will dry textured on this polish either. So there are three coats of Metalhead. Up next we have Slayer and this one goes from a purple to a pink to a red to a gold to a green to a blue at extreme angles. Here's our first coat of Slayer. Also sheer here on this first coat with these three coaters, especially I feel like with the larger particle ones you can layer them over a black to preserve your polish or to avoid three coats for each of these. Um, but they do look really, really shifty and beautiful built up on their own. So I did do three coats here. Again, you'll want top coat to finish this off, but nothing in this polish will dry textured and nothing in this polish will be difficult to remove. So there are three coats of Slayer. Next up we have the Beast and this one goes from a teal to an aqua to a blue to a purple at extreme angles. Here's our first coat of the Beast. This one is definitely my top pick of the multi-chromes. Something about these green multi-chromes, they really get me. This one was very opaque as well so I did just get full opacity in two coats. Again I recommend top coat. This one does have some brush strokes as it's wet but I don't remember any of those hanging around when it dried so there are two coats. Up next we have Thrashed and this one goes from a pinky red to an orange to a copper to a gold to a green at extreme angles. Here's our first coat of Thrashed. This one is 
one of those more fine particled multi-chromes. So I did have some brush strokes, um, especially when it was wet, but some of those did hang around when it dried. I was able to get full opacity on this one in two coats as well. These multi-chromes do have a very nice, easy to work with formula. No running, pulling, or staining. Again, I recommend that top coat, and again, removal will be easy. So there are two coats of thrashed. Up next we have Rose Tinted and this is a bright pink cream. Here's our first coat of Rose Tinted. This is super opaque here on this first coat, virtually a one coater. I am going to show you two today just for consistency sake and for the fact that if, when I do wear this I would wear two coats myself. You'll want top coat just to smooth or just to um, protect your manicure but nothing is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there are two coats of Rose Tinted. Next up we have Full Bloom and this is a bright pink cream but it's got these tiny pink flakes. Here's our first coat of Full Bloom. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. The formula is excellent to work with though. These little flakes that are in here um, apply just like a regular polish. They don't add any kind of difficulty whatsoever. I was happy with the coverage here on two coats um, but I did go in for three just to I guess just to go in for three because I had full opacity but this will dry on the dull side so I recommend top coat but nothing's going to dry textured or be difficult to remove up next we have peach blossom and this is a orange leaning coral here's our first coat of peach blossom I love this color on me this is such a summer color for me this is something that I can't wait to wear to the beach Excellent coverage, excellent formula. I got full opacity in two coats. Again, I'd recommend some top coat just to protect your manicure and make it last, but there are two coats. Up next we have Sunray, and this is an orange sickle orange cream. Here's our first coat of Sunray. I have never particularly been drawn to just straight up oranges, um, but this one I really thought was flattering on me. Gave me a nice fake looking tan and I was really happy with it. Two to three coats for full coverage here. I did do three just to cover up a couple of uneven spots um, but if you go in a little bit thicker you would probably be able to get away with two. But there are three coats of Sunray. Next up we have Secret Garden and this is a teal cream. Here's our first coat of Secret Garden. This is a very go-to shade for me and this one has an excellent formula. I got full coverage in two coats. For some reason my swatch photos um, don't look as opaque um, but I was able to get full coverage in two coats in person as well. So there are two coats of Secret Garden. Up next we have Forget Me Not and this one is a dusty mid-tone blue cream. Here's our first coat of Forget Me Not. This one also, this one, the next one, and the last one that we just looked at. For some reason my photos um, look not fully opaque but I had full opacity on camera as well as in person so I'm really not sure where the disconnect was there. So yes, I got full opacity here in two coats. This one will dry glossy all on its own and I had no staining. Next up we have Downpour and this one is a deeper kind of cadet blue cream. Here's our first coat of Downpour. This one is very beautiful. This is such a perfect color in my opinion to layer all the glitter over. Formula was good. I didn't have any kind of running pooling or staining and I was able to get full opacity in two coats. Just like its cream counterparts that we've looked at today so far, this will dry nice and glossy all on its own and removal will be easy. So there are two coats of downpour. And lastly for today we have Queen Bee and this is a clear based caramel glitter. And here's our first coat of Queen Bee. This one is so pretty. I loved this on me. This was this would make an excellent accent nail. I did two coats and I was happy with the coverage. 
you want more and you don't want to do three coats, you could definitely sponge this one on for full opacity. This will dry textured and it'll be very difficult to remove. So there are two coats of Queen Bee. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.